Hey guys, and welcome back to Internet Exploration, where I'm tired as fuck, but it doesn't matter because I'm still going to record a video. And honestly, this and another video have been on my mind for so long, and I've been pushing them off that I don't even know why. But if I don't get to them now, I feel like I'll never get to them. But welcome to Mercari. Now, this is one of two websites I've been thinking about doing a video about a lot, because mainly, I see a shit ton of ads for this website on YouTube, like, all the time. Like, oh my god, I get, like, my shit for cheap. Like I said, there's another website like this, and we'll get to that one eventually as well but it's always like oh i got my shit for way cheaper than i did in the store or some shit like that and it always makes me curious well what are they really doing on this website and i said well i don't know i think this is kind of almost like an ebay like website but you know that's why we're here to figure it out but let's dig a bit into mercari let's at least see what they got on the main page for this you can search shit right here workout gear stuff like that they got categories it looks like we'll maybe dig into that a bit later buy and sell almost anything shop and sell new like new and pre and items goodbye clutter earn extra cash by selling unwanted gifts and items save up to 70 percent off retail get access to exclusive promos and flash deals we'll open that up into because i want to see what, what the hell they're meaning about that i got some items sold right here like uh they got lego water damage louis vuitton bag a funko pop a couple of funko pops a pokemon card a <laughs> donald trump Funko Pop? I didn't even know they made that shit, dude. And if you keep scrolling down, they just have a bunch of other categories like collectibles, stuffed animals, video games and consoles, which shit, dude. Platinum sells for a lot nowadays, and I'm pretty sure I got a copy of that one, at least. That's really fucking expensive, though, dude. Damn. I guess the price over the years has gone up. When I bought a uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they were both $100. I wonder if those went up. So I don't know what we'll search. Shop the marketplace. I don't know what options we got. A whole shit ton, to be honest. I don't know. They got Louis Vuitton, Lego, Reborn Baby Dolls, Fig Pin Pin. Pins? I've never heard about that. Nintendo Switch, iPhone 11. So I don't know. We're going to search Spoon and see what comes up. Spoon. I'm just literally searching random shit, so I don't even know. With the intention of, of course, sorting high to low to see what type of expensive shit they got. So I don't even know. Is this like rare spoons and shit for like $2,000? Silverware a lot for $2,000? Fred Harvey era Navajo like spoon shit for like $1,800? I got some bracelets for like $1,500, dude. That's expensive as hell, dude. Wallace Sterling silver spoon for fifteen hundred dollars like damn dude are people really willing to pay this much for fucking utensils spoon silver please read description okay well you know this is the one where we're actually going to read the description because uh i want to know what's up <laughs> <laughs> silver spoon please read description below not your average silver spoon not your average well damn it looks pretty fucking average dude well, apparently they're a five star silver so of course they can't be scamming with this spoon okay this is a real german nazi spoon as you can see in the photos above the nazi symbol sorry about the pics i got this spoon and auction yesterday <laughs> so please series inquiries only also the ways 2.8 ounces i really trust this person he they can barely spell so you know all right they said check the pictures now i'm looking for the symbol that doesn't look like uh oh i i guess that kind of, i guess it's a swastika i don't know dude does that mean you can charge a thousand dollars for a spoon because it's like you know got a nazi symbol on it i don't really think so but you know that's none of my business if you want to buy a nazi germany spoon for a thousand dollars honestly that's your prerogative go nuts i guess i'm gonna question why you'd be doing that though so i don't know since per tradition we're gonna look up oreo and see what the fuck pops up it'll probably be a bunch of pokemon oreos kind of like how it was for like kind of like the video that we did for or ebay except it looks like it's actually shoes and shit so i don't know i don't know what oreo has to do in relation to shoes but that's pretty much all i'm seeing is shoes and you know that's cool i'm guessing i don't know if it's just like i don't know if mercari just has a policy against selling food but maybe they do i don't know we'll look up a rare chip and see if anything comes up i don't know maybe they have a policy against ridiculous listings on like ebay because honestly nothing's coming up you just got a bunch of like old vintage shit kind of popping off all right let's get specific i guess like, i guess i could look up dorito and see if anything pops up well it looks like i was wrong because i'm getting what i wanted rare dorito seasoning ball for 800 super rare i don't even know black dorito i guess super rare black dorito one to one reel for 360 dollars and you can just buy a regular ass bag of doritos for a hundred dollars so you know go nuts man i mean there's some ridiculous shit on here i wonder if we could get something for a cheeto i don't know that's kind of what pops up sometimes they got a bunch of cheeto memorabilia i guess cheetos shapes like tesla for 1800 dollars bigfoot hot cheeto for 60 
$1,600. See, the ridiculous shit pops off. It's just you gotta kind of dig for it. But I think Mercari might filter that shit out a bit more than probably eBay does, I guess, because it's kind of hard to find it. So if I look up chip shape, I wonder if I can get something to pop off. They got like poker chips and shit. That's not what I'm looking for, though. I don't know. They got like, that's not even close to what I'm looking for. They got like, I don't even know, a bunch of shit that I'm not looking for. So I don't know. Since we had like a spoon pop up for $1,000, I guess we could look up like spork or fork or something like that, or knife even. I bet knife would hit a result that I'm looking for. So they got a silver salt and pepper shaker for $1,700. Ultra rare playing cards for $840. Apparently Indiana cold case homicides, <laughs> which is kind of fucking weird, but you know, I digress. This is what we pull up for, right? All this weird shit. Spork for $85. You know, I at one point had like a spork that I got from GameStop. I don't know where the fuck it is. I actually think it's somewhere nearby. I don't even know why I got it, to be honest. I just did. So let's look up fork and see what pops up. So it's more like, I don't even know why I leave a Tom bag with pop up when you look up fork but i digress i got like more sterling silver for ridiculous prices like two thousand dollars you know being a man that uses like plastic spoons and forks this shit don't make no sense to me but at the same time i'm a fucking bum i guess so i don't know they got bikes i guess there's a bike like called like fork or something but a lot of bikes not a lot else though but i guess we could look up knife and see what pops up see i don't know why the bags are popping up see we got two bags that popped up when you looked up knife which is kind of weird that's kind of a cool painting but i wouldn't pay two thousand dollars for it i don't know what the hot wheels hut is but it's like a wall of hot wheels for like nineteen hundred dollars honestly not a lot interesting popping off which is kind of disappointing but let's look up like ultra rare or something like that because ultra rare would pop some shit that i'm looking for so let's sort by highest of course so these are kind of like the actual higher prices we're getting to like five thousand dollars for bags and shit like that let's see what this penny is all about for two thousand dollars ultra rare 1944 wheat penny with l rim error which i don't even know in what world that would mean i mean it's a cool penny it's not like one i've ever seen but i don't know what an error means l rim error i don't know if there's people out there like collecting pennies or whatnot but i guess if that's your thing that's your thing right mainly it looks like what's popping off is like plushies and then like also pokemon cards and shit like that but like damn like Yu-Gi-Oh cards like the legend of blue eyes dragon for two thousand dollars probably an original not the reprint i'm guessing unless you're trying to like scam and sell like the reprints for a lot of money damn there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh popping off though that's kind of crazy so i don't know if that's like an original original but it's sixteen hundred dollars for a blue eyes white dragon it says first edition so it's not like an original original because the originals didn't even have anything right there. Kind of nerdy about that because I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh when I was like really, really young. But see, that one doesn't have a first edition label on it. So that one would probably actually be kind of rare. So I don't know. If we look up food, would I get a hit for what I'm kind of looking for? Like I said, I think Mercari filters it out better than like uh, eBay does. But we'll see. Like, yeah, you got like food cart and Sub-Zero wine storage. But that's not really what I'm looking for. Commercial rotisserie, a commercial refrigerator, like some actual legit shit. And some actual weird shit like vintage, I don't know what that is vintage mcdonald's play food toys for eighteen hundred dollars damn dude i wouldn't but i don't know if there's someone out there that would honestly 2005 so it's not even that old for real honestly oh here's some shit that i was looking for hold on let's pull this shit up there's one from 2001 from mcdonald's that's only a thousand dollars so what the hell that one's older but it's asking for less money rare york peppermint patty packages stuck together for a thousand dollars damn dude that's legit super duper rare one of a kind no price change he knows what he's got he's not gonna skimp for anything less than a thousand Dude. All right, we're not getting anything too crazy i would say but we'll kind of look at the daily deal roundups kind of like the exclusives and shit they're talking about to see like what exactly is popping off here because this is like one of the main draws of their website is like oh you can get like a bunch of shit off like stuff for like just i paid like 70 percent off or whatever but i'm only seeing like ten dollars off and like ten percent off so i'm not seeing these deep cuts that they were really advertising about to be honest unless it's like at the top somewhere like electronics i'm not really seeing these deep cuts that they were going nuts about on the front page like 70 percent off i'm seeing a lot of like 10 percent off and 10 dollars off i'm not seeing any like 70 percent off cuts that they're kind of talking about which kind of makes me raise an eyebrow since that's kind of what they advertise they're like oh i got like a thousand dollars off retail well i'm not really seeing it to be honest i'm seeing a lot of 10 percent and like 10 dollars off at the same time even if there were those deep cuts i'd be kind of questioning where they'd be getting it from you know is it like a five finger discount that they're trying to do a quick flip on or what's up dude but i'm not seeing these 70 percent discounts 
accounts that they're talking about on like advertisements and shit but with that i think we're gonna kind of wrap up our look into mercari like i said earlier that's kind of where it's like to save up to 70 percent but we're really not seeing that whole 70 percent off so i don't know where they really got that number from but that was mercari i kind of wanted to dig into it since i see so many advertisements on youtube advertising it that it just kind of seems like another marketplace i don't know if it's really as good as ebay i'm not sure about really the selling policy or anything like that but honestly it just kind of seems like another online storefront for people to sell their shit it just seems like the advertising is deceptive which i kind of expected going into it but nonetheless kind of digging into it that was kind of what was uncovered but thank you very much for watching until next time i'll see you stay chill